हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एन जी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर विल कंसिडर टू डिटरमाइन वेदर द फॉलोइंग सिस्टम्स आर टाइम इन वेरियंट एंड इनवर्टिबल द फर्स्ट इन टू न्यूमरिकल्स वी ऑलरेडी डन विद द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर्स हियर लेट मी कंसिडर द थर्ड न्यूमरिकल विच इज वाई ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू एक्स ऑफ एन प्लस x of n minus 1 is this system time invariant and is it invertible first let me consider this to test for time invariance so let me write the same thing i need to test is this system time invariant or not how do i test that for that i should know the definition of time invariance which says that a shift in the input must lead to an identical time shift in the output let me consider the first half of the statement shift in the input input is x of n shift in the input is nothing but x of n minus n not such an input let me apply this to a system of operator h so that i would get the output y1 of n so what is the output going to be that depends on the nature of the system what is the nature of the system whatever you feed in the input it adds x of n minus 1 and gets you the output so now instead of x of n i have applied x of n minus n not therefore y1 of n is equal to x of n minus n not this is the input plus it also add x of n minus 1 and gets us the output so this i would call it as equation number 1 is this fine now consider the second half of the statement shift in the input should lead to a shift in the output so how do i consider that shift in the output let me consider y of n minus n not so what is that going to be i already have the expression for y of n to get y of n minus n not in this expression i need to replace every n with n minus n not first i would encounter x of n i need to replace that with x of n minus n not plus x of here i would find a one more n that also i would replace with n minus n not and i would keep rest of the things as they are so this is the second part of the equation this i would call it as equation number 2 so next task is compare both the equations if they are same the answer is the given system is time invariant so as i can compare they are not equal hence the answer is not time invariant so this is the answer not time invariant or it is also called as time variant is this fine so now moving on further the second task is to test that for invertibility invertibility is this system invertible or not how do i test that for that let me consider the input x of t and that is been given to a system and what is the nature of the system this is the system with operator h and i would get the output y of t this is the operator h so that i would get the output as y of t what is y of t is equal to uh i just made a small mistake the this is not uh, continuous time rather it is discrete time x of n it is not x of t it is x of n here it is y of n y of n is going to be x of here i would let me consider it is x of n plus x of n minus 1 x of n plus x of n minus 1 to such a system can i add one more system which is inverse of h are you getting this can you add another system so that you can get the output x of n back is this possible yes what must be the inverse system then the expression of this to get x of n back this is 
y of n minus x of n minus 1 so whatever you have just take it over here so that you would get the expression for x of n x of n is equal to y of n minus x of n minus 1 to such a system if I add an inverse system so that I'm going to get back the original input therefore the answer is the system is invertible so let me write the same thing the system is invertible yes the first property to test it for time invariance the answer is not time invariant or it is time variant and to check for invertibly the system is invertible is this fine so if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section I would answer those doubts and uh, the fourth numerical I'll consider in the next video lecture till then thank you so much for watching